The next uh, sentence we're going to do, not the case, H and G. Conjunction, not the case, parenthesis, H and I, parenthesis. Line 2, G or I. Line 3 is, it is not the case, that H or not I. Line 4, we're going to go, the first step is going to be a ampersand decomposition from line 1. So that on line 4, we have, it is not the case that H and G as that part of the term and of course on the next line we have it is not the case that H and I. Now on line 6 we've got a disjunction that's negated. So look up your negated disjunction rule and look at what we're going to do because we're going to go on line 6 and 7 will be from line 3 our negated disjunction decomposition is not the case that H because we distribute the negative. We come down here and of course we distribute the negative. It is not the case that it is not the case that I which we're instantly going to see it means it is the case that I that out. Let's go ahead and do that. I and that's a tilde tilde a negated negative decomposition uh, quoted from line 7. Okay. Now at this point we're going to split into two trees. So one over here and one over here. G is going to be over here and I over here and we're going to take that from where? Line 2 Line 2, disjunction, decomposition, deconstruction. So we have G and I as the two possibilities. And under G, we're now going to say it is not the case that H it is not the case that G from line 4 negated ampersand decomposition. So this says it is not the case that H and G occur which means either H fails or G fails. So let's put those possibilities out. Either H fails or G fails. Now we have to carry out all the possibilities in every branch. So we have to come over here and do the same thing. Either H fails or G fails. Okay? And that's what we have for line 10 and that is negated ampersand decomposition. That comes from line 4. And on line 11 we're going to carry out from line 5, so we've got line 2 we got earlier, 3 we got earlier, we just did 4, so there we go, 1, 2, we got 3, just did 4, so we're going to do 5 now. Line 5, it is not the case that H and I occur. Now that means either H fails or I fails. So let's carry that out on all of our open branches. Oh wait, we need to stop of course at this point and get our open branches. Now first of all we've got not G and G. Okay, that we have to stop that branch and not investigate any further because that's contradiction. Here we've got not H, not H, we're fine, not H, not H, we're fine. G doesn't contradict anything. Negative G doesn't contradict anything. So we're fine so far. It doesn't contradict anything above it. So we're fine so far. So below this we are going to decompose that part of the tree again. Going to go to in line 11, it is not an H or it is not I because we have it is not the case that H and I occur so either H fails or I fails and we have the exact same thing repeated over here just so we can test these truth values over here too 
it is not H and it is not I as the two possibilities and we name that as a decomposition from line 5 of our negated conjunction. So then we can check uh, and we don't have anything else to decompose because that's our last uh, sentence that's not atomic. All sentences have now been decomposed to atomic sentences. And we have negative H doesn't contradict anything, so we're going to leave that open. Here we have a negative I, and we have I up here, so we're not going to allow that. The line is closed. And here we have I and I, that's okay, negative H, negative H, we're going to allow that. Here we have negative I and negative I, just like we had over there, Closing there, we're closing there. So, those are your open branches. Those are the truth values that allow this set of uh, sentences to be truth functionally consistent. So, that was an 11 line whopper. That was pretty fun, huh?